This video is sponsored by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino. Three rules, be on time, work hard, and have respect. Those words were directly from Matt Eberflus on this week's edition of Hard Knocks. Now that HBO's training camp edition of the show is wrapped up, and the biggest takeaway from this season is how much excitement and hope there is for the future of the Chicago Bears. Every team is filled with hope in the preseason, and we've grown accustomed to the there's always next year talk, but things are different for the Chicago Bears. There really is a reason to believe, and optimism for this team's future is legit. Hard Knocks showcased a lot of things that fans normally wouldn't see. Behind the scenes training camp, practices, preseason games, roster cutdowns, trade talks, and even bringing guys back to the practice squad. Now that the show is wrapped up, I want to talk a bit about the best moments from the final episode and what I thought about the show overall. Let's go ahead and get right into it. The final episode featured a lot of our front office and our head coach with Matt Eberflus, Ryan Poles, and Ian Cunningham all having tough conversations about the roster. Unfortunately, the camera cuts away too early though, and some of the juiciest details were left on the cutting room floor. Although it's always awesome to see any behind the scenes we can get, especially with Ryan Poles and Ian Cunningham, you even got to see part of their scouting trip they took last weekend. Of course, the episode also had a ton of Caleb Williams, featuring one of the coolest edits of practice footage I've ever seen. It was a montage of clips to go with Caleb talking to Shane Waldron and then showcasing what they were talking about on the practice field. It was beautiful work. You also got to see a lot of Caleb interacting with his teammates. He just seems so comfortable in his own skin. Caleb's personality is just different. I couldn't be happier with the decision that Ryan Poles has made at the quarterback position. The future of this franchise is in great hands. DJ Moore and his daughter are always stars of the show, and the final episode was no different. DJ showed off his new home that he bought in Chicago, with his daughter also going around and showing off the house. So cute. But DJ also made a comment about retiring as a bear. It was great to hear him say that. I love that Ryan Poles was able to get the deal done so early. Honestly, everything about the show really spotlighted our general manager, Ryan Poles how he treats his veteran players like DJ Moore, to how he does what's best for the franchise, even down to how real of a human being he is. He's the guy who has to cut players from the roster, and some people forget Ryan Poles himself was cut from this very team at Hallis Hall back in 2006. Ryan Poles is the truth. And now I want to take a minute to thank BetUS for sponsoring today's video. I'm excited to announce a new promo that is launched. Head over to BetUS.com and use the promo code YouTube150 for a huge 150% deposit bonus up to $2,000. Bears are currently four and a half point favorites and a minus 205 money line at BetUS to beat the Titans this week. BetUS has you covered on all your betting needs. But some more news from the final episode of Hard Knocks. The Bears did want Brett Rippon back as QB3, but when he got a shot to sign with the Vikings active roster, that opened the door for Austin Reed to return. I think there was a tough decision there. The Bears really did like Austin Reed, and I'm actually glad it worked out this way. Rippon was able to make a 53-man roster, and Austin Reed was able to stick around on the practice squad. But the Bears also received some trade calls on Valus Jones Jr. Ryan Poles seemed so happy with Valus's development, and he said nothing less than a fourth rounder when it came to trading B12. But the coaches seemed to really like him as well. Richard Hightower and running backs coach Chad Morton both fought for Valus and love what he brings to the roster. Hightower said he could pretty much be a core special teams guy. But Hard Knocks also took a lot of time this season to let fans get to know some of the back-end roster guys, such as Ian Wheeler, Theo Benedict, Austin Reed, and Adrian Colbert. Ian Wheeler and his mom shared an extremely heartwarming moment in episode 4 last week. His hug with his mom after tearing his ACL was such a sweet moment, it was hard to not get emotional for that one. The Bears really liked Ian Wheeler, though, and it seemed like he had a real good chance at making this roster, 
before he suffered the ACL injury. Ryan Poles put Wheeler on the IR, and he's letting him rehab with the team and stay on the roster until next year. We'll be rooting for you in training camp in 2025. A great story. But two other hard knock stars, Theo Benedict and Austin Reed, also got brought back to the practice squad. Neither one made the 53-man roster, but both get to continue chasing their dreams in the NFL with the Chicago Bears. Probably the most touching moment of the entire show, though, was when Ryan Poles had to cut Adrian Colbert. It was a tearjerker, and it was such a tough moment to watch. Ryan Poles tells Colbert how much he hates this part of the job, and how thankful he was for Colbert and their time together. He also told Colbert that he was one of the guys that he really roots for. Adrian's response was awesome, though. He told Ryan Poles that he felt like the Chicago Bears embraced him for who he was, and that allowed him to strive on and off the field. This was really cool to hear, and not something I've heard about any of our past regimes. Colbert mentioned how most teams want you to act a certain way, and even kind of be robotic. But the Bears embraced Adrian Colbert's personality and let him be himself. It was an awesome moment of the show. They shared a really big hug at the end. I thought Hard Knocks did a really tasteful job of showing the players that did get released. But it was a bit weird that the entire show didn't have a single curse word. But then again, I keep it family friendly on Swift Sports Network as well. The ending of the show had a beautiful three minute montage to the song End of Beginnings. It gave me chills. It was perfect. It was the end of Hard Knocks, but just the beginning of the future of the Chicago Bears. And the song captured it perfectly. So much to look forward to. It's the beginning of something truly special for the Chicago Bears. And Hard Knocks did an awesome job of capturing that feeling. I think the show was done really well, although I do have a couple of minor complaints. Some of the players on the roster with the biggest personalities were not even featured on the show at all. Where was Tevin Jenkins in the show? Where was Jervon Dexter? I just felt like they spent a bit too much time on certain players while leaving others completely out of the show. But overall, I really enjoyed the show. If you're a Bears fan and you have not seen Hard Knocks, definitely give it a try. I think you'll enjoy it. Stay tuned for more Chicago Bears news and some film breakdowns on the way. NFL football is back tonight. We have football tonight. We have football tomorrow. We have college football all day Saturday. And then the Bears are back on Sunday. It's finally here, guys. Remember to hit that like button for me. And until next time, Bear Down! Quick shout out to BetUS for sponsoring today's video.